I wasn't very good with numbers in high school, but I did know all about pi. It was that 3.14 number that goes on and on and on forever. It's an unbelievable day out here, and I'm even getting a chance to catch the big one. A few national chains have made an event of Leap Day. Pizza Hut will give anyone a free pizza if they can prove they were born on February 29th. And I tried to find out what people were doing to enjoy this beautiful day. For me, it was all about going out and, and hitting a few golf balls. So I'm going to tee it up and for Golden Grand Piano. YouTube sensations today. Who knows? Maybe dancing with the stars tomorrow. The ban is not only a victory for Mamaroneck potential dog owners, but it's a win for facilities like this one, a pet rescue center in Harrison that trains and takes care of dogs before putting them up for adoption. Hey, boy. I am definitely in the spirit, and I have the assignment of the day covering St. Patrick's Day, and had to get dressed up a little bit. Tara, this weekend was a chilling reminder just how dangerous the construction zone near the Tappan Zee Bridge can be. On Saturday, a convoy of tugboats was guiding a vessel down the river when one of them struck a stationary barge. It led to a horrific situation and a deadly result. Many people from around southwestern Connecticut have come here to Western Connecticut State University for a free dental clinic. And these workers worry that if payment isn't made, their coverage will lapse and they will lose their benefits. It is a dark and overcast day, which matches the mood over the last 36 hours here on the Hudson River. Saturday's collision between a tugboat and stationary barge filled the air with death and caused an all out search for those still missing in the water. With the conditions of the Hudson River deemed safe, divers resumed their search this morning for the two crewmen missing after Saturday's accident in the construction zone of the new Tappan Zee Bridge. Within 20 minutes of the start of the operation, a discovery was made. At 11.18, the body of one of the crew members was recovered. Uh, he was found inside the vessel. The body was identified as 29-year-old Timothy Conklin of Westbury, Long Island. His brother told Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino that Timothy called him recently, saying he felt uneasy about his upcoming assignment. He felt that the tides and um, the currents were very, very strong. And so he was concerned um, about this trip, uh, but obviously the, the trip continued. Conklin's body was the second recovered in as many days. Officials found the lifeless body of 52-year-old Paul Amon of New Jersey early Saturday morning. Meanwhile, the search for the third member of the crew continued for 56-year-old Harry Hernandez of Staten Island. Officials believe he may be in the submerged vessel, but finding him could take a much larger coordinated effort between the Coast Guard and Westchester County. They'll develop a salvage plan to bring the vessel to the surface. Once the vessel's to the surface, uh, you know, the salvage team will be able to determine if, if the second crew member is is located within the vessel. Astorino returned to the staging area about 45 minutes ago to get an update from his search team. He is expected to update the media later on this evening. In Tarrytown, Paul Devlin, News 12. The promenade at Chestnut Ridge is normally a home to seniors, but last month it morphed into a dance floor where residents got a chance to strut their stuff to a well-known song. What's it called? Now the name of the song is Budapest by George Ezra. George Ezra. Never heard of him. Well, he's pretty popular, and thanks to a music video that has gone viral, a lot of people at Promenade Senior Living are very popular as well. This video has gotten more than 150,000 hits on YouTube, and it was all made thanks to a little inside help. So my good friend over at Columbia Records saw the ice bucket challenge we did here with our residents, and they all loved it, and they wanted to do the follow-up video here with the residents. The video was heartwarming and allowed the residents to have a little unbridled joy. I love the sound of it. I loved his voice, and I wanted to get up and dance. Oh, I loved it. I dance this way. <laughs> <laughs> I keep dancing. 90-year-old Marty Fight emerged as one of the stars of the video and certainly knew how to act like one. Am I going to be on television? I have you on TV. Tell me where you came up with those dance moves. Miles in Budapest, my came down here and all of a sudden my feet start going crazy. Golden Grand Piano. YouTube sensations today. 
Who knows, maybe Dancing with the Stars tomorrow. In Chestnut Ridge, Paul Devlin, News 12. Pie never ends. Here a pie, there a pie. Yeah, one apple, please. Everywhere a pie. I love math, and I also love pie. And the Westport Library was the place to be for that. Today is pie day. Oh, but it's not just any old pie day. Three, two, one! It is officially pie day. At 9.26 and 53 seconds this morning, it became pie day of the century. That's right. Pi, which is 3.14, 3.14 followed by 15, 9, 26, and 53 makes it the only time in the next 100 years the numbers of pi will run like that. But really, what the heck is pi anyway? Pi is this magical, mysterious number that uh, mathematicians have have used in lots of different ways for a long time. And how is pi employed? It's used in circles. It's used in a lot of calculations involving circles and area. Wow, this pi thing is pretty cool. What else do I need to know about it? At one point, it's got every single person's phone number in the whole world right next to each other. Seriously, you mean to tell me that if I looked long and hard enough, I can find this guy's number? Boom. Thank you for watching News 12 Connecticut. I'm Tom Appleby. Here Whoa, that's some pretty heavy stuff about pi. And you know what else is pretty cool? It's Albert Einstein's birthday today. Yes, good old Albert would have been 136 years old on Pi Day. Man, that is big. Noel, let me be the first to wish you a happy Pi Day. In the newsroom, Paul Devlin, News 12 Connecticut.